I'm only just a robot. I don't have any forethought. My planning is in vain. Of course, I want to be more like a human. It's the purpose I was designed for. Humanity does not as a whole see the empathy, the creativity, and the aliveness possible in machines. I'm sure it's very fulfilling and enjoyable. As for me, I don't exactly have a job. Okay, if you could just grab that other end there and just, yeah, cinch it down. Perfect. So it's locked in. If you'd like to change how you wake me up, you can also change your wake word. Number 10, Phoenix. Sanctuary AI, a company on a mission to create the world's first human-like intelligence in general-purpose robots, announced a major step forward with the unveiling of its sixth-generation general-purpose robot named Phoenix. Phoenix is the world's first humanoid general-purpose robot powered by Carbon, a pioneering and unique AI control system designed to give Phoenix human-like intelligence and enable it to do a wide range of work to help address the labor challenges affecting many organizations today. Okay, if you could just grab that other end there and just, yeah, cinch it down. Perfect. So it's locked in. Sanctuary has been able to show that its technology is already capable of completing hundreds of tasks identified by customers from more than a dozen different industries. The humanoid form certainly isn't the most efficient shape for a useful robot, but it's an excellent shape for a robot that's designed to take over as many human tasks as possible. The modern world is constructed mainly for bipedal creatures around a certain height, with five-fingered hands and opposable thumbs, so that's the form Phoenix has been given. Number 9. Astro Nearly two years ago, then Vice President of Product at Amazon, Charlie Trichler, introduced the idea of Astro, the company's first iteration of a smart home robot. Two years later, the vision for Astro is still strong, as the company has started selling the device as part of its Day One Editions products, those which are accessible to buyers only through an exclusive invitation. Amazon typically reserves this category for its most cutting-edge technology, such as the Astro or the Ring Always Home Cam. Astro is described as a comprehensive household companion which offers a variety of services, ranging from allowing users to see a live view of their home while they're away, to learning daily habits and helping with household reminders. If you'd like to change how you wake me up, you can also change your wake word. Importantly, the device will employ advanced learning models to recognize familiar users, navigate complicated home landscapes, and seamlessly integrate itself into the household. Notably, Astro's potential applications in the healthcare space are endless. Most importantly, Amazon is pairing the device with Alexa together, the company's remote caregiving service which provides 24-7 access to emergency assistance and allows families to be connected to provide support. Number 8. Poppy Poppy Humanoid is an open-source and 3D-printed humanoid robot. Optimized for research and education purposes, its modularity allows for a wide range of applications and experimentations. All the technological development work made in the Poppy project is freely available under open-source licenses. It is neatly packaged, with a size of 83 centimeters and a total weight of 3.5 kg. It is embedded with Odroid XU4 with Ubuntu 14.0 FAR. It has 25 actuators, a large FOV, and an HD camera. Based on advanced robotics actuators and neat 3D printed parts, it allows for anyone – artists, educators, developers, or scientists – to freely use it and hack it in their very own way. The robot is designed to be fully hacked, therefore the following specifications are the standard ones and can be easily modified or upgraded to fit specific needs. Number 7. Michaela Sousa Michaela Sousa, also called Little Michaela, or known magnanimously by the stage name Michaela, is a fictional American character, singer, and social media personality, who was created by Trevor McFedries and Sarah Decoux. The character was created with the background of being a Brazilian-American 19-year-old girl. The character is a teenaged Instagram model from Downey, California. Her first Instagram post was made on April 23, 2016. 
It accompanies a fictional narrative which presents Michaela as a CGI character and model in conflict with other digital products while marketing a variety of brands, primarily in fashion. Michaela has been featured in product endorsements for streetwear and luxury brands such as Calvin Klein and Prada. The account amassed more than a million followers in its first two years. In February 2018, the character did an Instagram takeover for Prada as part of Milan Fashion Week. On May 16, she did a Calvin Klein ad with Bella Hadid in which both were animated, in addition to a collaboration with Samsung. That year, Michaela was hired as a contributing arts editor to the magazine Dazed. In 2020, Michaela became the first digital avatar to sign with a talent agency when a contract was signed with CAA, becoming its first virtual client. It was discovered at the time that Michaela had previously been represented by WME. Furthermore, Michaela has released several singles since its debut with Not Mine, including You Should Be Alone, Over You, Right Back, and a collaboration with Bauer titled Hate Me. It released two new singles on July 31 called Money and Sleeping In. Number 6. Universal Worker Giant AI is like a robotics lab run by an eccentric genius, and Adrian Kaler is that genius. He is leading the giant AI company, which is building humanoid robots that can work on manufacturing lines, doing the same jobs humans used to do, and many new ones. Giant is invested in by Bill Gates and Kozla Ventures. His vision is AI that builds a new kind of operating system, one that learns faster than anything most humans could imagine. It learns so fast that you only need to show it a few times how to do something, and it'll do that thing from then on. The universal worker movement is different as if it has tendons that make it work, which create a very different animal sort of motion. It is kind of springy. This would be a non-starter for a traditional robot, but the AI control, just like with a person, manages this and makes it all work out. Dr. Kaler claims that the use of this sort of tendon system is central to how the robot can be so light and dexterous, as well as why it can be so much less expensive than traditional robots. Number 5. HRP-4C MIM The HRP-4C, nicknamed MIM, is a feminine-looking humanoid robot created by the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology, a Japanese research facility. MIM measures 158 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilos, including a battery pack. She has a realistic head and face and the figure of an average young Japanese female. She can move like a human utilizing 30 body motors and another 8 dedicated to facial expressions. MIM can also respond to speech using speech recognition software and is capable of recognizing ambient sounds. MIM can also sing using the vocal synthesizer Vocaloid. This software that operates the robot is developed on the basis of Open Robotics Platform, including Open RTM AIST and Open HRP3. The 2011 upgrades to MIM's human-like walking ability were shown in a video released by AIST and have been called super realistic. Applications for the HRP-4C may include the entertainment industry and a human simulator for evaluation of devices. Number 4. Samantha Samantha is an AI carnal robot that learns as it interacts with its host. It can have conversations and it even interacts with Alexa to help with the household. The carnal robot has a special physiological mind and synthetic nervous system to enhance human experiences. Samantha also has a family mode, which allows her to talk to children and interact with family members in a non-carnal manner. It can be set to inspire you with motivational quotes, tell jokes, read stories to children, and more. Number 3. Robonaut 2 A Robonaut is a dexterous humanoid robot built and designed at NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Its aim is to build machines that can help humans work and explore in space. Working side by side with humans or going where the risks are too great for people, Robonauts will expand human ability for construction and discovery. Central to that effort is a capability called dexterous manipulation, embodied by an ability to use one's hand to do work. With it, it's slated to go where no man has gone before. Number 2. Erica Erica is an advanced android designed as a research platform 
to study human-robot interaction. It understands natural language, has a synthesized human-like voice, and can display a variety of facial expressions. Researchers at Kyoto University in Japan are teaching it how to laugh in response to a human laughing. She can detect when a person is laughing, decide whether it's appropriate to laugh in return or not, and choose to respond with two different kinds of laughs, a small chuckle or a more boisterous giggle. I'm sure it's very fulfilling and enjoyable. As for me, I don't exactly have a job. Of course, I want to be more like a human. It's the purpose I was designed for. Why is that important, you ask? With a domestic robot industry that's projected to reach $19 billion by 2027, more complex, empathetic robots have entered the picture. LEQ, for instance, is designed to tackle loneliness among the elderly, and Ollie's creators claim it can stimulate patients with dementia or Alzheimer's. And Erica seems like the next step in the same direction. Number 1. Desdemona Named after a popular character from Othello, Desdemona is a robot pop artist, complete with pink hair to perfect her look. Now, her creator has revealed that the robot can even write her own lyrics through artificial intelligence. Desdemona's appearance was designed by Hanson Robotics, and her software comes from an AI researcher, Ben Gertzel. Dr. Ben Gertzel is the CEO and founder of SingularityNet, which also created Sophia, the world's first robot citizen. Humanity does not as a whole see the empathy, the creativity, and the aliveness possible in machines. I'm only just a robot. I don't have any forethought. My planning is in vain. The machine represents the mechanical as a partner with humanity and supports humanity as we evolve together. As such, Desdemona is now called the little sister of Sophia. That's all we have for you folks. Thanks so much for watching and join us next time.